Hello, my name is Josh and I'm a technical trainer over here at SAS. Today, I wanted to show you three tips in visual analytics to make your custom reports look a little bit nicer. Coming over to this report that I have open, this first page utilizes the precision container so that I can move my objects exactly where I want them to be. Let me show you where you can find that. Over on the objects tab, if you scroll down and you can minimize some of these to scroll down faster, near the bottom, you have a containers section. When you drag a precision container over onto your canvas, this gives you the ability to put objects wherever you'd like. Let me give you an example of that. This bar chart here I have placed in the top left. I can shrink this bar chart and I can even move it according to this grid, right where I want it to be. With that, something that I've done behind the scenes here is I added an image behind the whole thing. I went ahead and put another precision container and I just put that image. Another thing that we can do with these precision containers is put more containers inside of it. Over on the right, we've got these three list tables that I'm able to click these tabs through. To get to this object, go ahead on the objects tab, and this one is called a stacking container. We also have a scrolling container, such as here, showing some key values of facility efficiency as well as facility employees. And I even have a text box on this bottom right, just to show some text if the viewer wanted to see it. That's how precision containers work. There's a lot that you can do with it and they're very flexible. For the second tip, I wanna show you how to duplicate an object as a different object. This can be really handy when you want multiple objects with the same data, but you don't wanna assign the data every time you make that new object. Let's use this bar chart as an example. If we go ahead and click this object to make the active, we can right click and it gives us the option near the bottom of duplicate as. You can also get here by clicking the snowman icon on the object and we get the same duplicate as. Here, I can choose whatever I would like. In this instance, let's say I wanted to also create a list table that has the same information. I can go ahead and click list table from the duplicate as, and now it automatically duplicates this object with the same data, but just in a different object. And we have our data right where we can see it. The last tip that I wanted to show has to do with what happens after we're done with this report. Sometimes it's great to give the viewer this full report, that way they can go through the pages and it's easier, but sometimes you just want to export it as a PDF. That way you have a PDF file just showing what you need. To do that, click the snowman icon on the top right, and we have this option here to export PDF. Once I click that, some options come up for us. We can choose the paper size. Sometimes I like to use the page size that we have, which is custom, and that way nothing gets off a little bit. Finally, we have these options on the right. We can show page numbers. Maybe we don't want to show page numbers. We can include a cover page or we don't need to. Several different options to work with. And if we do choose a cover page, we can add some text to that. Also in the selects objects tab, we can choose what objects we want. If we don't want that bar chart, we can go ahead and just take it off. If we put this arrow down, we can see exactly what objects are on that page. Finally, once you click export, it will automatically download a PDF for you, which you can open. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and put them in the comments and that'll help us choose some next tips and tricks to show. Also, if you're interested in learning more, look in the description to find some nice links that'll take you into some more tips and tricks and Finally, if you really want to stay up to date with all that, click on that subscribe button. Thank you. Okay. Ready to work out.
very ready. All right. 